it's my great pleasure to welcome Mr. Okiki to our webinar today. He's a highly respected DevOps engineer with a wealth of experience um, in DevOps. And I'm confident that his expertise will provide you with valuable perspectives and actionable knowledge. So everyone, please welcome Mr. Okiki. Hey, hi, Okiki. Welcome to the session. Are you here with us? Session. Are you here with us? Yes. Um. Hi, everyone. Can you all hear me? Yes. Yes. You're audible. Yes. Thank yes. You so You're audible. Thank all you. right. Hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Okiki. So um, let me just keep it, you know, straightforward. Um, uh, my name is Okiki, and I've been in, the, you know, IT for about six to seven years now. And uh, my started off as an Oracle database administrator, uh, as well as Progress. Um, over time, I eventually realized, you know, uh, the importance of cloud, um, you know, technology and how the IT world is actually moving. So I decided to move into cloud and, you know, get to learn a little bit and, you know, have a little bit of understanding about cloud itself. You know, I did some courses, you know, here and there, but at that point in time, I wasn't too serious with it. So, um, you know, I was able to, based on my experience and, um, you know, I was able to land a job and, um, you know, got my certificate got everything and moved into IT per se and I've worked you know uh, as you know cloud engineer uh, currently working as you know as an Amazon Connect specialist so basically um, you know I was saying uh, my experience so far and joining um, Think Cloudy, I think I've been able to actually get help from Think Cloudy as well on my role, you know, um, because sometimes, you know, due to the nature of, you know, uh, as an engineer, sometimes you need a second opinion, you need help while you're working. So with Think Cloudy, I've been able to get a job support whereby, you know, I have someone that, an engineer that's experienced as well, that actually, uh, you know, help why, uh, you know, I'm working. And, uh, you know, I am also actually learning a new skill within Cloudy at the moment. You know, I'm back to, you know, learning, trying to, you know, how to my skills. So, but one thing that actually stood out to me compared to, you know, my free previous experience has actually been in a personalized approach to teaching. Previously, you know, the, the the experience I've had when I was, you know, started, when I first started my IT career, you are in a class and the class of like 300 people, 250 people, 100 people. And, you know, the rate at which you study or you learn is not the same as others. So um, you sometimes get discouraged over time or sometimes you lose concentration. And when it comes to IT, you know, it's very important to actually understand the basics. And, um, you know, once you understand the basics, you know, building from there, it becomes really easy because whatever you learn at the beginning, you actually need it or you make use of it over time. So for me, you know, coming to class and having like a one-on-one -on -one interaction with my tutor, it makes it easy for me to learn again, you know, try to communicate and ask questions at my pace. And my teacher actually, you know, spend time to you know for me to actually do hands on you know correct my errors give me assignments and i you know come back to you know do it and it's 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 not like i'm loaded with a lot of information at once you know it's felt like i'm actually in a stand up meeting every day so for me it's a one hour session you know get on the call with my tutor uh, and, you know, we go over whatever we need to go over that same day. And, you know, it's it felt like I'm actually attending my stand up on a, every morning, felt like I'm actually working, you know, while I'm doing something. So and the project, I've, you know, I've been exposed to as well, you know, has been great. So for me, uh, you know, be based on my experience with work, with learning, with other areas, I believe you know, Think Cloud is actually the next, you know, the best way is, you know, 
to actually go. Um, not only, they're also going to help with certification. I don't think I mentioned that as well. So while you're actually, you know, trying to get your certification, they're going to help you get it. So which is 100% guaranteed as well if you need to do that. And, you know, and also one thing that most people don't pay attention to is uh, 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 your CV. Because at the end of the day, aside from actually building a CV, you need to actually understand what you have in your CV so that wherever the question arises, you can actually speak to what you have on your CV and they coach you on how to actually uh, uh, also attend interviews. So once you start getting interviews, you know, you actually get to get coached. You know, they tell you how to talk, how to speak because, you know, uh, uh, one thing about IT is that you are competing with a lot of people and the better you are, the easier it is for you to actually land the job. So, and and one thing I really want to, you know, round up with right now is consistency. You know, regardless of how well you do it, IT world requires consistency. The more you learn, the more you practice, the more you do it, the more you talk, the easier it becomes because it becomes a second nature to you. So, um, you know, I'm very much happy with them. You know, I try as much as possible to connect my friends, you know, with Think Cloudy, you know, even those that are on the job or those that are not actually on IT, you know, there's always somebody that's going to help you to actually grow. So, you know, and they are not going to help you and, you know, teach you and leave you dry. They teach you and prepare you to actually land your own job as well. So, uh, but one thing is, you know, be consistent. That's all that matters. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate, you know, thank you so this much, opportunity Okiki. to speak to. Thank you so much, Okiki, on behalf of the every audience who is listening to you. But you know what? Everyone has that one uh, one doubt, you know, because uh, people come from a non-IT background. You were quite lucky that you started with Oracle DBA. But some of the people, they come, from, some of the, you know, students, they come from a different background. So do you think that uh, is is it impossible to get into IT you know as per your own experience or 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 is it just a time taking process that you know people if they put efforts they will be able to land a job what what is your thought about it yeah uh, regarding that for me me myself you know i started as an you know uh, i don't have an IT background you know i have a bachelor's degree in real estate which is estate management you know from my country and as before I actually came into IT, I know nothing about IT. Like I had the only closest thing I did with it was when in university, when I, you know, we did some courses, you know, probably when I was in my first or second year. So that was the closest thing I actually got to IT and it felt so difficult at that particular point in time. But over the years, you know, IT is so easy that whatever you can say or how you can present yourself, that's all that matters. Nobody looks about, oh, if you have a background or not. It's all about what you can do and how you can talk about what you can do. So, you know, it's just, you know, the way it is. And I believe you guys at Think Cloudy, you know, you have every tool and every uh, uh, experience to actually help them to pursue whatever they need to pursue or whatever choice they make in the areas of IT that they want to go to. So, um, you know, for me, you do not, you know, don't let the, ex you know, you talking about having experience, you know, in IT distract you. You know, IT is not like that. It's about what you know. It's about how you can present yourself. And, you know, you have people that are going to help you to learn and also people that are going to prepare you for interviews. So that's all you can ask for. So with that, I'm very much, you know, and, with your own hard work and consistency, trust me, you're going to get something. You know, IT is it's, it's so wide and there's so many opportunities out there for everybody. So, Kiki, uh, one, so it means, uh, I think, do you think uh, that people who are in audience who are really trying their best, will, will they be able to find the job? <laughs> I think so. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So for me, I believe, you know, Based on my own experience, right, and if you do the right thing, because at the end of the day, you know, you are not speaking with people that don't know what they are talking about when it comes to interviews, right? But most important thing is, once you actually diligently do this, you are going to get a job, regardless, right? Thank you so much, Okiki. So I think uh, all of you have gotten got the gist what Okiki want to share with all of us over here. Right. Uh, Okiki was 
like comes from a background of real estate and uh, getting a job in it was not was not easy for him as well it's not that it was easy for him right so it is it is really important that you know we build our skills we we really do a lot of things and what he just said about the about the consistency and the plan that is something which is the key takeaway from okiki's experience and exposure on the interviews so thank you so much okiki i think guys can we say uh, you know all the best to okiki that what he actually did with uh, like with himself that he could able to find a job so you, you guys can feel free to and say all the best to him if you want to say all the best okiki and let us know if you need any help on the job so that we can provide some uh, some job support as well thank you thank you for watching switch from non it to it today explore www.thinkcloudly.com